Hi, welcome to the channel. My name is Matt. This is Baskin the Story. I'm going to do another book review, this time Stone Blind by Natalie Haynes. So this is a retelling of the Medusa story and it's still set in ancient times. Um, but it's a retelling of Medusa from really from more Medusa's side of the story. There's quite a few uh, Medusa stories, Medusa myths, and this just takes one of them. This takes the Medusa and Perseus story mainly. Uh, there's a few other bits in there. There's the, the gods and giants war is, is part of the story as well. But in this, we get uh, multiple points of view throughout it as well, which I'll come on to in a bit about the points of view we get. So Natalie Haynes, I know Natalie Haynes from Stand Up to the Classics BBC uh, radio series she's done, which is very, very entertaining. There's seven, eight series now of that. It's very, very entertaining where she looks at classics, um, writers, authors, stories, and makes a comedy show about them. So it is brilliant. If you want to, if you haven't listened to it, I recommend it. But this is the first book I've read, and I know she's written other retellings as well. So what we get in this retelling is we get the question really asked is, what is a monster and who is a monster? Now, if you're like me, the main vision I have of Medusa before this is, is probably the Harryhausen films, uh, the stop motion Medusa, where she is clearly portrayed as a monster from the point of view that we are given. But this story takes a, a very different point of view. It takes Medusa's point of view, and and we we get a quite heartbreaking story of a young woman, so a sisters of the Gorgons, Euryale and Stenos, um, who are viewed by humans as monsters because of the way they look. Uh, and what we see is they become loving, caring elder sisters to Medusa, and Medusa is born or appears on their their coast and she is quite human she still has a few physical traits of uh like a gorgon sister so she does have wings um but she is very human female looking and we we follow her story and we find that the caring loving relationship between the three of them is incredibly touching uh, throughout this story and we then also have Perseus's story, and we also get the view of uh, the gods, mainly Athena, um, with a bit of Zeus uh, and a few others thrown in. And what we get is we get the view of Perseus as, um, who's generally in a lot of stories portrayed as the hero uh, of the story, battling the monsters uh, and saving the fair maiden, for a better for a better phraseology. But in this story, we see him as quite a um, I suppose a dopish character where he's trying to protect his mother but by sacrificing everything around him and seemingly quite happily doing that as well. So th this comes to the question of who is the real monster and we see Medusa as she grows up and the, the tortures that she goes through and the the abuse she receives is heart wrenching and in this this period of time where we still have a huge amount of um, victim bla victim blaming and we still see that whether that's portrayed in the media or or social media and this shows some of that and there's quite a lot of victim blaming within this story so this is dealing with quite heavy topics it's got a lot of depth to it there's a lot of emotion built into it it's quite powerful but there is with Natalie Haynes, there is that humorous side. There's that humorous element. We get some some good humor with the gods. Now we also see some, and you know we get lots of points of view as I say, and some of them are more bizarre than others. So for instance, we get a point of view of, um, for instance, the snakes uh, on Medusa's head. We get a point of view of uh, an olive tree at one point. So we get some bizarre and humorous parts of the story told by by others and other things. Uh, we also get uh, the view of the gods and Athena and we see them as, and you know, this is maybe a bit of a petulant children view of some of, some of the gods, which didn't work as well for me, but it had some uh, light relief and humour uh, within that, which breaking up quite a, a tough, emotionally draining story if it was just, just that and not the some humour to break that up, it would have been more difficult to get through. The overall telling of this story is really about Medusa and, and questioning us as how we as a society view people and how we 
stereotype people by how they look and then also regarding um, the victim blaming that is still unfortunately seemingly very prevalent within the society in which we live and all of that combines into this story and this retelling of Medusa in in a really strong way and I don't know all the Medusa stories um, but I know a couple and this picks up on some of them and it just shows how Natalie Haynes can craft a story that has real emotion into it and gives us something to think about and consider that is still very prevalent and relevant for today. So all in all this is a fabulous read. Another good thing about the points of view and the way it's written is that though there's many points of view we don't hop around in time so it's very linear in its approach to the storytelling which makes it quite easy to follow the story even though there's several points of view it's an easy story to a relatively easy story to follow uh, as we go through the timeline and we see the events that happen the horrific events that happen to Medusa and the way her her monsters of sisters the Gorgons how they try and support her and protect her and, and love her and care for her and in a sense how it's all for naught even in the end so that is Stone Blind by Natalie Haynes I do recommend it I enjoyed reading it I will be looking to pick up some of her other books. Uh, as I say, if you haven't listened to her, her BBC series, Stand Up, uh, Stand Up for the Classics, I do recommend that thoroughly as well. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this quick book review. If you did, please do like, comment, subscribe. It'd be great to hear from you. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.